Electronic Signature Tutorial. Sign and fill all your signatures online with Adobe Sign or Adobe Acrobat. In this video, we're going to be talking about Adobe Acrobat where you can easily go through your PDFs and you can go through your documents to go ahead, sign and fill all of your forms, add your signatures and send to others for e-signing. You can use it all right now in the most incredible and easiest way and it's done on Adobe Acrobat. It's really simple to download this platform. Just go over to your Google, search in Adobe Acrobat and download it. There is no paid trial for this or anything like that. It's totally free. You can upgrade yourself to Adobe Acrobat Pro if you want to, and you can use the pro features, but you can get e-signatures totally for free. It's pretty simple. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open up a PDF. And I'm going to be showing you how you can manipulate it, do different things to it, even add your e-signatures to it. So let's get started. Now, first of all, to start things off, you can just directly go ahead, open up your Adobe Acrobat over here, and here you can get fill and sign. Okay, so fill and sign is where you can, you know, simply go ahead and uh, sign this PDF. Okay, you can simply go ahead, add your very own electronic signature, whatever way you want to. And it's really simple. So here, as you can see, it says add signature. So what you're going to do is you're going to type your name. So here we have John. OK, so obviously that's a signature that you can type in like that. You can also change its style, you know, whatever style of signature you want, you can add that. Now, it looks pretty nice. It uh, looks accustomed to a proper signature, but you can even draw your signature if you want to. So let's say if I want to add something like that or you even have a tap pad, uh, which you can, you know, basically use to make a signature, you can do all of that in this. So, you know, just make your signature right now, I'm going to go ahead and use it as a type form. So once we have this, we're going to click on apply. And once you click on apply, as you can see, there's your signature. And now let's say if I want to add my signature over here, there we go. And now you can basically increase its size, decrease its size, you can even go ahead and uh, change its, you know, heading size. You can keep it in the form of initials as well. So, you know, if you just want to give it out your initials and not keep it as a sign, you can do that as well. Same in the drawing form or even if you have an image of your initial or signature, you can add that as well. It is that simple. OK, and you also would want to keep in mind the different details that you will need for your initials or signature because a signature is a trademark of you. So do make sure to make it look as nice as possible. And you can also, you know, dabble in and throw in some dates in there. So that's what a signature is about. And this is how you can add it into your PDFs. And obviously, this isn't the only way you can add it through, you know, different methods into your PDF if you want to, because uh, basically what it matches up to is let me show you. So basically, let me just go ahead and finish this off. Let me show you what happens further on. Now here on out, you can also just open up a totally new document. Like let's say I'm going to go ahead and open this document up over here. Okay. So once we open this document up here, it says, what do you want to do with it? Fill in and sign, edit a PDF, export a PDF. So all the time, what you're going to do is you are going to go ahead and fill and sign because that is what we need to do. So every time just come over here, you can even go ahead and draw your you could say on your PDF by highlighting it or you know, maybe using a cursor or a pencil. But mainly what people do is they just use the add signature symbol over here. And once you click on add signature, it just opens this up. And you know, it's pretty convenient. It's pretty useful. And most people do tend on using the type feature. OK, so yeah, just uh, type in your name, add it in the apply section. And once you do go ahead and click on apply, add it to your document like this. And once you do add it to your document, there we are. So pretty standard, pretty straightforward and, uh, you know, gives you a pretty straightforward idea on how you're going to want to go ahead and get a proper signature in or out of your regimen. So once this is done, you can basically go ahead and export your PDF and your PDF will be exported with this tool. OK, so just go over ahead to, um, you know, PDF. OK, and uh, you can easily from here on out export it. OK, 
So you get the export options down here and you can even print it in any form you want. It's all doable through your uh, Microsoft uh, Adobe Acrobat. So basically that's pretty much about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, do let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. Till then, that is all from me and I'll be seeing all of you wonderful people in the very next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.